It's the start of a new year at Godolphin. I always get very nervous coming back to school because, you know, it's straight in and you've got to, you've got to go and you've got to run as fast as you can. As classes begin, there is one activity on the minds of the third year girls. In year nine, that's first year allowed to join CCF and everyone gets so excited for it. Basically the whole year signs up, especially the ski trip. Everyone's so looking forward to that. When I was in first year, I think they had a massive inflatable laser tag course and I saw that it was for CCF and I thought I'd join. <laughs> so a lot of people in my year were joining up, so I thought it would be a fun thing to do. And it is. So this second week, we're all getting our uniforms and it's all very exciting. Everyone really wants the trousers because they're really cool at the moment. <laughs> left, turn. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Girls, I'm impressed already. We have not done drill for a while. And to be together like that already is really good. Oh, hello. <laughs> Brilliant. Very smart. <laughs> Which planet are you on, Yasmin? Godolphin's charity team have over 20 events this year, and planning is already underway. Uh, young minds. Young minds. Yeah. We have a big Macmillan day in September, the sixth form, go into town, dress up in green wigs, Macmillan green, and we collect there. So we have collected in excess of 14,000 for them over the last couple of years. Life will see. One of the charities that we support is the Elaborate. You know, they experience for themselves for one night what it's like, the plight of the homeless. We're sleeping in the Salisbury Cathedral cloisters and we're sleeping on the floor, which is very hard stone and it is really cold and it's raining. So it should be a fun night. It's really fun. So we're going to go to like help and getting homeless people off the streets and like, help get them all the essentials they need just to survive. And it's a really good cause. In November, Mrs Hattersley received a surprise call. I remember that Friday when I had a phone call from a journalist at the Sunday Times and I thought, oh, no, I've got a journalist wanting to speak to me. You know, I suppose I'd be better take the call. And it's a Friday afternoon, he said, I'm going to make your day. And I thought, well, yes, really. And he said, yeah, yeah, we, we've decided you are going to be secondary school of the year for the South West. And I nearly fell off my chair. That was an amazing moment. The Sunday Times looks at the wider life at the school. So they look at the co-curricular provision, they look at the music, they look at the art, they look at the drama, they look at all of the clubs that we offer, um, and they look at the school in the round. And so if we were going to win an award, this probably would be one that best reflects life at Godolphin. As December approaches, the vocal ensemble face their first great challenge of the year. In about 15 minutes time, you need to be Ready. It was the Christmas carol concert for Bernardo's. We sang three pieces, an amazing thing to be able to do. Each year the school puts on a senior school play. So it's main Dagenham, about a week left. I'm so excited, although I'm really nervous though because I don't really know all my lines yet. I've always wanted to be a main part in a school play, but um, yeah, since I was younger I've been like trees and bushes and like bluebells and really weird like men. I'm fine, I, I feel like once I get to the show I'll be fine. I think everyone's in the same boat as me at the moment because, you know, it's all getting quite stressful now. Guys, you've got half an hour! Despite all the nerves, the play is a resounding success. Really, really tiring, very emotional, um, but in the end it was all worth it and went really well. There are lots of, of things that happen in, in a school year that are special, but there, there have been one or two highlights. Godolphin Remembers was an event to remember the First World War and 100 years from it and the school's involvement. 
there was an exhibition of archives in the main hall, a trench going down to the PAC, there was music and a play in the PAC. Because we've got such lovely diaries and records for this school, it was very easy to dip into the archives, create a script and get a wonderful sort of sound and light show going. Every November, um, the Upper Sixth goes to Westminster Abbey and have a service in the um, chapel. And just as the tourists are chucked out, we go in and we have the Abbey entirely to ourselves. We both did a reading and we also uh, sang as well, which was really lovely. And I think that's definitely going to be a highlight of the year for me. And I think for a lot of other people as well, that was really special. I'd say. Christmas at Godolphin kind of starts when the decorations go up in the hall, so... And the big tree. Yeah, I remember seeing it for the first time with the lights around the outside and I just thought, whoa, that is amazing. Fionn came running into my room, she went, oh, the Christmas trees are off. So that's quite exciting, and all the lights. The teachers are all in a lot better mood. That's quite nice. There's a lot more chocolate around. Well, everyone's so tired. Yeah, but it, it, yeah. it helps because we've been having, like, really fun Christmas, lessons. Yeah, yeah Christmas-themed lessons. Oh, yeah, that's fun. The annual Interhouse quiz was raising a few pulses in the hall. I know we haven't all got anything, that was a real <laughs> feeble effort. <laughs> Preparations are being made for the Christmas carol service at Salisbury Cathedral. Although there is only one event on the minds of the pupils. <laughs> the sixth formers do like a play and it's supposed to be like really fun. I'm quite nervous because sometimes they like do characters from our year. What's very good about ENTS is it, it shows how observant the girls are um, because you can see a member of the staff and you know who it is. As rehearsals start, some of the younger girls attempt a sneak peek. We mainly base it on like third years, fifth years. It's a bit inappropriate for first, second year. Yeah. It's kind of like a party vibe, everyone's dressed up and the teachers are quite excited for it too, though some of them pretend they aren't. I think we've got a good script, we've got a good plot, hopefully everyone will laugh. I think I've just about been forgiven for murdering the, uh, the Reverend, um, Dr Stellawood, uh, with my bicycle. I think I ran her over quite a few times. Absolutely perfect. It was, it was so fun. I wish we could do it again. I thought they did a really good job. That was a very clever idea. <laughs> I think it's best we leave that there. Come the next morning and the mood is slightly more reserved for school closing. A chance for us to recognise the 3,460 prize winners in academic achievements, music, sports and CCF and to practice our endurance clapping skills. There is time for one last rehearsal before the school community comes together for the Christmas carol service. A carol service for the end of term, like a Christmas carol, Christmas service. carol service, and there's like lots of readings, lots of singing, things, singing, and yeah. yeah. And of course, no one enjoyed it more than Mrs. Sparkle. It's a cold start to the second term, but that doesn't stop the girls having fun. <laughs> so today is the 30th anniversary of the Alzheimer's Tea Party, which Douglas House hold every year for the local people with Alzheimer's. We used to come when we were little, we'd hand around chocolates, and it's nice to see some familiar faces and support the local community. I don't think it's changed a huge deal over all that time. I mean, people love sitting down and just talking to each other. We have a winter ball this evening. So we dress up in our fancy dresses, we have a meal, dance. It's going to be 
great. <laughs> I'm so excited. Winterpool, second time round. Woo! Uh, it's an event to kind of unite both the upper and lower sick. This, to be honest, it's the event of the year. It's so much fun. We all have a really great time. Sit down meal and then we'll sort of go outside for some sparklers, then do some dancing. So excited! In essence, it is kind of a, the beginning of our leaving events because there's so many of the upper sick here, so it should be a really nice evening to have everyone together. And yeah, it's going to be great. A few weeks into the term, and everyone's already beginning to feel a little tired. Bonjour tout le monde! Bonjour! Comment ça va? Ça va bien? Ça va mal? Comme si, comme ça. Comme si, comme ça. Okay, vous êtes fatigué? Although love is in the air, as the girls are about to experience a Godolphin Valentine's. And instead of making a red heart for Valentine's Day, we're going to make a green heart and we're going to show our love for the planet. I'm going to try and eat less palm oil or use less products with palm oil in. I'm going to donate my pocket money to plant trees. I'm going to um, use less plastic. Yeah, I'm going to recycle and use like less stuff and use less paper. Roll on to March and one of the fiercely contested competitions in the school, the Interhouse Pancake Race. With the biggest date in the lacrosse calendar approaching, we caught up with the captain of the first team. We've got nationals coming up in March, so we're all really excited for that and we're busy prepping and stuff. We've had a bit of an on-off season, like we've had quite a few injuries and we haven't always had as many numbers, but um, yeah, the pressure is on, really excited though. It's about quite a few schools, maybe like 65. The second day becomes a knockout round, which all gets quite tense. And you never know what's going to happen. The matches are so short, so it's really just whoever wants it most on the day. Sadly, this year wasn't the year for Godolphin. I think we were dis disappointed after our last match. I think we wanted to sort of pull it back a bit better. But I think at the end of the day, we'd all had a really fun two days and we just sort of took that out of it. The cross isn't for everyone. Some love to watch or play tennis. Like, I just always love it. I've grown up with a family who love tennis and Janie, oh God, she's like a mother figure. When you come into the first team so young, you get to mix with the older girls and it's so enjoyable doing all that. Yeah, we've had some tough matches, but it's been when it's been my bad day, but it always motivates me to work harder, yeah. Throughout the year at Godolphin, there are countless educational trips that the girls take to learn about life in general, as well as getting to understand other cultures. We went to Nepal to do some sightseeing and help a school in the rural area of the Kathmandu Valley. And we went there and we basically dug a hole to put a water tank in and painted all the classrooms. Vamos a ir a Alicante para cinco días. Sí. Sí. Gafas, gafas de sol. Gafas de sol, ropa. Y una falda. Y quizás una falda. Muy bien. It's like everyone comes to England and is expected to speak English. So you should make an effort to speak their language. You can do a lot more and you feel you probably understand the culture better. And once they've travelled the world, it's time for the girls to get stuck into some STEM, science, technology, engineering and maths. We've joined together with various members of the science department to create an exciting environment where girls can come and explore STEM. Each session is based well, on like problem solving are. using STEM skills. Okay, so this is one of the part earlier. <laughs> Every year, a best moment for me is the, the science week. I'm just trying to name the tectonic plates at the moment. Um, not doing that well, but you know, have you? Um, I've just done some geodes in the other room. What we do is we pop them in this little solution and it makes them form crystals all the colour. And it's my favourite bit. Yeah, I have a, a little geode for every year. 
It's our second last day. We finished tomorrow for Easter. We've got the science quiz and Hamilton are going to win because we're the best. I love the science quiz. The team has to have one of each year. Yeah. Okay. Matthew and are going to win. Yeah, they? Matthew and are going to win, 100%. Yeah. Bad luck, Matthew and Douglas. The winners were Hamilton. What do I look forward to the most in the year? One probably would surprise people that know me, which is actually was the confirmation service this year. Um, I think that's a real family sort of event for people here. Um, you know, it means a lot to a lot. It means a lot to a lot of the girls. Um, they spend a lot of time preparing for it, and seeing them go up um, to be confirmed in the cathedral, which is obviously a wonderful setting. It's very historic. It's very you know, beautiful venue. You can see how much it means to them. And I think that really reflects the sense of community that's, that's at the school. We've got all our family coming, our godparents. Yeah. Godparents and grandparents and lots yeah. of dads and stuff like that. It's really exciting. And we're getting our first communion as well. Yeah. 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 The wine is really nice. Do you see that? Sorry. <laughs> it is though. <laughs> With Easter behind us, the girls return to school and prepare to demonstrate some of their creative skills. So the art exhibition happens on the 23rd of May and it displays the work for GCSE and A-level students. So my work will be on from like, all the work that I've done throughout the last two years. And we celebrated Mr Egg winning Wiltshire Life Teacher of the Year. We're quite unique here. We don't do uh, what they call endorsed titles. So we don't produce potters or painters, printmakers, uh, digital designers, textile artists. We produce all-round artists. We do that because when the students go on to study at degree level, they want all-round creative people. And so you'll see a range of stuff here. Um, ceramics, sculpture, textiles, fashion, um, painting, drawing, printmaking, uh, and digital art. With exams fast approaching, the upper sixth girls are also preparing for life after school. But first, it's time for their leavers ball. We've got their OGA leavers ball, so I'm really excited. But I ripped my dress last night, so I've had to get Miss Josie, the art teacher, to fix it for me. Oh my god! <laughs> so I was reflecting upon your time here and wondering about um, the, the support and the help and the advice that you give. Hands up! <laughs> Hands up! Who's been down to see Sister Jill since they've been at Godolphin? Woo! <laughs> something of Godolphin will stay with you for life. I'm certain of it. Evening went off without a hitch. Well, almost. It's all good. It's resolved. Uh, the rope dress couldn't get fixed, so we've had to go for a different dress now. So, luckily, we had one to wear, so I didn't have to come in like normal clothes. But it's all good. It's resolved. Although the end is near for the Leavers, school life goes on for our younger good orphan girls. I'm just about to move into sixth form, and I'm really excited. It'll be really different, I think. I'm. A bit nervous to be honest but I'm also very excited too because being at the top of the school you've got new responsibilities. We get a lot more independence and you get treated more like an adult. You get to wear home clothes so I think it's kind of preparing you for life at university. It's more like that. Are we are doing an interview? Yeah we're doing an interview. Okay, okay so tell me what you've done Stop today. Stop it. So today we've just played the vicious match. Annual, of course. Oh, and did you win? Of course, course we won! It was, it was a close call for a minute, but with yeah, yeah, our close. skills. Half time it was we a pulled lot. It back, pulled it back. Yeah, we did because obviously. Okay, okay. <laughs> Good. The CCF year comes to an end with their amazing 10 tours. 10 tours challenge. 35 miles. Yeah. 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 yeah, really nervous. Yeah, never yeah. excited. Yeah. It's not fun. <laughs> it's an achievement. Yeah. You can definitely tell yeah. who, who are serious and who maybe are just doing it for fun. A lot of courage and to keep going determination when it gets tough. I think it's told me I don't want to be in the army. That's one thing it has said. It's all a bit hard and all very organised, very, yeah, not really my thing. It 
it's, I, it's still fun. I'll still go. I mean, at the end, I think you get a medal for doing it. So, I don't know. Do it for that. <laughs> As the year draws to a close, the school comes together for Interhouse Sports Day, although not everyone is excited. Do I look like I get involved in sports day? Um, I'm there, um, sometimes I'm measuring things, but my maths isn't very good, but that's about the limit as uh, sports day is concerned. Though. Yes, I will break some yeah. records today. I think we come first and second in 200 as well. Yeah, I hope That'd be yeah. good. Yeah. and the school comes together one final time for Interhouse Performing Arts. There was the usual great excitement as girls from all years came together to create, direct and perform. Congratulations to Douglas, this year's winners. As we leave the rest of the school celebrating the end of term, for upper six, the focus is firmly on the future. When I leave school, I'm going to go to Warwick to study history and politics. When I leave, I am going to Camberwell School of Arts in London. I'm going to do an art foundation in Amsterdam and then I'm coming back to do architecture at UCL. I'm doing a gap year and I'm going to do a cooking course. Woo. Travel Southeast Asia, South, South America. America. And then I'm going to university to study history of art at Oxford Brooks. Argentina, then Chile, Bolivia, Peru, Ecuador, then Colombia, and then finish. we're gonna finish in Costa Rica. I'm gonna do French and Italian at uni because I've always wanted to be fluent in definitely French, and I think it'd be great to be fluent in more than one language. I plan to go and train to be a midwife. I would like to go to India and set up a charity, not to transport people to hospitals because you can only do that for for a few people. I'd like to go and train people properly to go to the house. And yeah, I've never really said out loud, that's, that's my plan. <laughs> that's a good plan. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I will be doing something History of Art related, hopefully work at Christie's auction house. Uh, in 10 years time, I will be a surgical assistant at St. Thomas's Hospital. In 10 years time, I'll be doing something related to biochemistry, hopefully working at a pharmaceutical company. And in 10 years time, I'll be a housewife in Hampshire. <laughs> I ruined it for all she of you. probably will be. <laughs> they keep in touch with each other, so they form lifelong friendships. Um, so although we're saying farewell to them, actually they keep coming back. More importantly, they keep in touch with each other. It's a small school, and so we know each other, and we care about each other. Um, and it's just a lovely place to come into work to every day, really. I'll be, be very sad to leave. It's been a big part yeah. of my life for the past seven years. Not only like the friends, but also some of these teachers I've known since I was literally so young. Sitfam has taught me not when something goes wrong, don't stress out because something right will happen. And it's also taught me that you always have people there to help. I think I'll feel ready. Yeah, I, I was going to say that as well. Yeah, I think I'll feel ready. But it's been a lovely little community that you've been part of for a very long yeah. time to then leave and not have. Mrs. Jones, housemistress, sort of asking you if you're okay and that sort of thing. I think will be it'll be very different, and I think it will be difficult. But I think I'll feel ready for yeah, it. Yeah, I think everyone will be quite prepared because I think the school prepares really well. But I'll definitely be kind of sad as well because yeah. I have loved it so much, and I think it's helped us grow a lot as well. Oh, yeah, um, and kind of build our confidence and everything. So yeah, a bit sad. <laughs> <laughs>